Hello and welcome to Nurses Handbook. Today we will be discussing some multiple choice questions in pharmacology. Question number 1. Peripheral neuritis caused by isoniazid can be prevented by Option number 1. Pyridoxin Option 2. Thiamine Option 3. Niacin and Option number 4. Aspirin And the correct answer is Pyridoxin. Pyridoxin, which is also known as vitamin B6, is given along with the tablet isoniazid to prevent neuritis or peripheral neuropathy. And the recommended dose is 25 to 50 mg per day per oral. Isoniazid causes interference with vitamin B6 metabolism, which leads to deficiency of this micronutrient and results in peripheral neuropathy. Question number 2 Drug contraindicated in infants. Option 1 Ciprofloxacin. Option 2 Barbiturates. Option 3 Theophylline. And option number 4 Chloroquine. And the correct answer is Ciprofloxacin. Ciprofloxacin should be used with caution in children as it damages cartilage in immature animals. Keeping this in view, it is not used and if used, then it is very very cautiously to be given. Question number 3. Zidovudine, an antiretroviral drug, acts by Option 1. Stimulating the immune system Option 2. Interfering with viral replication Option 3. Promoting excretion of viral antibodies and option number 4 destroying the outer wall of the virus and kill it and the correct answer is interfering with viral replication zidovudine when it takes converted into zidovudine triphosphate and this zidovudine triphosphate inhibits hiv's reverse transcriptase which is an important enzyme for the virus to make dna copies question number 4 which of the following drug is associated with the reaction Stevens-Johnson syndrome? Option 1 Cunidine, Option 2 Valproic Acid, Option 3 Isoniazid and Option number 4 Procanamide. And the correct answer is Valproic Acid. Sodium valproate is a broad spectrum anti-epileptic drug. It is used when the exact seizure classification is unknown or multiple seizure types exist. In some cases, sodium valproate causes reaction which is known as Stevens-Johnson syndrome. So what is Stevens-Johnson syndrome? It is a life-threatening IgE-mediated hypersensitivity reaction affecting the skin and mucous membrane. Question number 5. The most common side effect of nitroglycerin is Option 1. Diarrhea Option 2. Constipation Option 3. Headache and Option 4. Vomiting The correct answer is Headache. The most common side effect of NTG is Headache as NTG dilates the arteries and veins to relieve angina pectoris, but at the same time, it vasodilates the cerebral arteries which causes headache. High doses of nitrates causes facial flushing, sinus tachycardia and postural hypotension. Question number 6. Plasma expanders are used in Option 1. Congestive heart failure Option 2. Severe anemia Option 3. Circulatory shock and Option 4. Chronic renal failure the correct answer is circulatory shock. Plasma expanders are agents which have a relatively higher molecular weight. It increases the plasma volume, stabilizes circulatory hemodynamics and maintains tissue perfusion. So the question comes, why plasma expanders are choice of treatment? It is because in shock, blood volume reduces and plasma expanders can bring the volume to normal very quickly. There are two general categories of expanders are used. First one is crystalloids and second one is colloids. A mixture of both crystalloids and colloids are also available. Example of plasma volume expanders are dextran 40, hydroxyethyl stars and human albumin. Question number 7. An antabuse drug, disulfiram, which is used in alcohol dependent syndrome, acts by deactivating option 1 choline esterase, option 2 acetylcholine, option 3 acetaldehyde dehydrogenase and option 4 GABA. The correct answer is acetaldehyde dehydrogenase. Disulfiram is a drug used to support the treatment of alcohol use disorder by producing an acute sensitivity to ethanol. It mainly inhibits the enzyme acetaldehyde dehydrogenase and induces unpleasant effect even when small amount of alcohol is consumed. Question number 8. Which of the following an anxiolytic drug with antidepressant action is? Option 1. Alprazolam Option 2. Lorazepam Option 3. Diazepam And Option 4. Triazolam And the correct answer is Alprazolam Anxiolytic drugs used to treat anxiety disorders and panic disorders. 
Alprazolam is in a class of benzodiazepines. So it is also used to treat depression, fear of unfamiliar places that is agoraphobia and treating premenstrual syndrome. Question number 9. Drug of choice in theophylline poisoning is Option 1 phenytoin, Option 2 thyroxine, Option 3 cortisone and Option number 4 propanolol. The correct answer is propanolol. Toxic level of theophylline causes hypokalemia, hypophosphatemia, hyperglycemia, metabolic acidosis and hypotension in patients. These effects can be prevented or partially reversed after giving beta blockers like propanolol. Question number 10. What is the choice of drug for the condition eclampsia? Option 1 magnesium sulfate, option 2 midazolam, option 3 potassium chloride and option 4 atropine. And the correct answer is magnesium sulfate. Magnesium sulfate acts centrally by suppressing the nerve impulses in seizure disorder. It is considered as the safest drug of choice in pregnancy. Thank you for watching. For more updates like this, do like, comment and subscribe the channel Nurses Handbook.